Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for August 30th to September 12th. Guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. And also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I also do content on there. Um, or you'd like a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box below. Okay, so we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna do the overall and then advice. And then, of course, with the bi-weeklies, I also include singles. So singles will be after this, okay? So stick with me, Tian, to the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on my Gemini's romantic love life for August 30th to September 12th? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going on with my Gemini? It's a romantic love life for August 30th to September 12th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so we see Gemini. There is definitely a sense of optimism, a sense of happiness, right? Complete happiness with the Sun card energy and big luck here with the Sun card energy. Mm. For some of you, there could be some um, some sense of repetitiveness here with the whip card energy, or uh, some of you may be dealing with some passionate exercise with that whip card energy. Let's keep going and see where this goes. All right, so two represents some type of choice, and the sun card represents happiness and big luck. Okay, so the blockages seem to be something to do possibly with Scorpio energy, or it's something to do with something to, that needs to end, stop, or complete, or transform, or change. And uh, when it comes to talking and speaking, okay, so some of you guys are uh, wanting some kind of changes or transformation, transformational changes when it comes to talking or speaking here with the bird's card energy. So that seems what's blocking you or crossing you, some issues around communication. Let's just see what that death card energy is. And I'm also going to clarify what that whip card energy is. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? So a sense of uh, not exactly knowing what you want, wanting a happy ending, wanting some kind of completion, want some, something to do with accomplishment when it comes to happiness. Now let's see what the whip card is about. Because also can be read with the whip card energy. Someone's focused on happiness uh, because of hurt and pain. Or there's a sense of wanting to be happy because of certain pain or something that seems to be repetitive and about, about the situation. All right, so why is the whip card here? Why is the whip card here? Marriage, uh, traditional values, long-term commitment, and uh, a sense of things are really going slow here. Knight of Pentacles energy. What causes somebody's happiness? Sun card energy. Okay, so uh, this is very straightforward. It's saying that basically... There seems to be a lot of repetitive things going on here because it's somebody's happiness is the issue. And uh, there is not a lack of communication around wanting some kind of change or something that needs to be transformed, stopped, or completed, right? With the death card energy here. So at the foundation of the matter, there is a want to take a risk, a leap of faith here with the full card energy because of a letter, a message, a document here, something written down, something to do with messages. Two plus seven is eight, nine, a one to fulfill wishes here. And in the past, there was a person here that was like, all right, I want to defend my position. I feel like I have the higher ground uh, and I can win this. You know, even though there's some people coming at me, I, I can win this. I, I'm going to defend my position. If there wasn't anyone coming at you, it was just more or less you felt you had to defend yourself against the other person. And it was seemed because time was an issue here. And obviously for some of you, it seems like there is some repetitive things going on here with the situation. It's like a lot of slow walking going on here. And um, there seems to be a, a sense of wanting to communicate something to do with ending, stopping, or completing here, or wanting some kind of change around the situation. Um, and obviously you're wanting to take a leap of faith. You're wanting to take a risk here when it comes to a letter or a message. And obviously there's a sense of time being an issue here. At the head of the matter, we have the Empress card energy, which represents love and abundance. And possibly someone who is not being straightforward here with the Fox card energy or trying to use their wits or intelligence around the situation. Five, is this some kind of challenge or change? In the near future, there's a want to speak a truth. So in the near future, someone's going to speak their truth, right? They're going to speak their truth because they're going to gain control or they're gaining the strength and courage to speak their truth. 
So obviously communication is the blockage or the, the, the challenge here what's crossing you. But it looks like in the near future, there's gonna be some truths being spoken because someone gains the courage and strength to do that. And we see at the fox card energy, we go around here, foxes represent somebody who could be deceptive, sneaky, or dishonest because of time being an issue when it comes to a letter, a message, or something do it written down, and because of trying to gain control or strength. We see the Empress card energy, love and abundance, and wanting to defend the position, to take a risk, to take a leap of faith, and speak the truth here about the situation six is representing healing recovery and love how does this person see the situation so they see the situation as all right i have a lot of hope i have a lot of optimism here this is a part of my wish my hope here with the star card energy but i'm lacking a little bit of a direction here where to go here or how to find a solution to this problem here because you know this card is like when you know you're trying to find a uh, trying to find a way out, right? This is a labyrinth, and you're trying to find the way out, and you're you're going through all these twists and turns, and you're just um, you're lost. So there's a sense of loss, a sense of lack of direction here. Four plus three is seven. A lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about the situation. How do they feel about this? They feel like, okay, so they feel like they're trying to see it from a new way and a new perspective. There may be in a sense of immaturity or there may be a sense of abrupt decisions here, Page of Swords energy. Or even they may feel like a naivete when it comes to their happiness here with the Sun card energy. So we see the Sun card energy does show uh, they want to reveal some things with their feelings. Uh, they feel that or they feel that there's luck on their side. They feel like there's a sense of happiness and they want to see it from a new way and a new perspective. But they, they feel like they lack a direction here and they're trying to be hopeful and optimistic about things. And four is about stability and stables and structuring things and organizing things in a certain way. So your influence in your romantic love life is this crossroads or this indecision here with the Two of Swords energy because of loyalty, because of friendliness, because of a friend possibly for some of you that may be influencing things, okay? The doll car can also represent a soulmate, okay? Some indecisions or crossroads when it comes to a soulmate. Two plus nine is a wish is being fulfilled because of a choice needs to be made here. Two card energy. Okay, so now before we go into the outcome here, I want to look at, whoa, nice card. Oh, wow, nice card. Okay, um, I want to look at the advice for you guys. Okay, Seven of Swords says you got to be honest about the situation. Okay, you got to tell the truth and be honest. So, and also the Seven of Swords is a card of being strategic, right? It's a strategic action. So, being honest or taking strategic action. Seven also represents the number of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing. Okay, so before we go further, let me go with the Lenormand here. Okay, so we have the Crossroads card. We have the, okay, well that's, that's not bad actually. It's saying that, if we look at this here from the Lenormand perspective, some indecisions or this crossroad has ended, stopped, or completed because a sense of a direction here with the compass card energy, okay? So we come here with the, the Tarot, it says, King of Pentacles, this is a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment. So there's a sense of, all right, I'm making a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitments. I'm deciding that there's a twin flame soulmate connection or I'm gonna make a choice with my heart because I wanna take a new path in love, Page of Cups energy. I want to, I feel that there's potential for love here, Page of Cups energy. There's message of love here, Page of Cups energy. And I found the direction that I'm looking for, right? I, I got the direction now, I have a sense of direction here. So my indecisions are over. So it's come to a completion here. So it's time to take a new path when it comes to love with this person, right? Page of Cups energy, because we're a twin flame soulmate connection. And I do feel this is a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitments. So let's also see what Lenormand says for the advice. Okay, so the Tower card says, don't have a sense of isolation or separation here, right? Be honest about how you feel, okay? Be honest about how you feel or be strategic or really think and contemplate about what you want here. Really analyze it, okay? All right, my darlings, if you like this, please like and subscribe and let me know what's going on in the comments below and bear with me while I clear this out of the way for our singles. All right.
Okay. So it looks like it's gonna be a great week for you guys. All right. Okay. What's going on with my Gemini Singles Romantic Love Life for August 30th to September 12th? My Gemini Singles Romantic Love Life for August 30th to September 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we have a lot of celebration, a lot of friendship, a lot of hanging out here, Three of Cups energy, a sense of joy, Three of Cups energy. For some of you, more than one choice or option, or somebody could be a friend here, Three of Cups energy. There's friendship, celebration, being with friends, a sense of joy, or more than one choice or option. Okay, so we see the blockage, the devil card energy. Hmm bondage, addiction, depression, and procrastination, or a sense of some challenges here with the devil card energy. Or for some of you, there could be some strong desires here, okay? At the foundation of the matter, you're trying to gain clarity, ace of swords. You're trying to gain the answers that you need with this ace of swords energy, which is also one card energy, which shows an opportunity. In the past, there was a sense of, all right, I want to move at this really fast, or maybe somebody was trying to move at things really fast, or there was a sense, all right, I need to cut things away, cut things out, Knight of Swords energy. And at the head of the matter, it's, it's coming to a decision, okay? Justice represents, all right, a sense of wanting justice, coming to a just truth, a just decision, a sense of justice here, so a decision. So you're trying to make a decision, you're trying to gain the answers that you need. Let's see what's going on in the near future. Hmm. So uh, I feel like the person that you may be dealing with may be feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you with the Four of Cups energy, okay? Because the Four of Cups represents a missed opportunity or a sense of missed opportunity. Or there is a lot of things being offered to you. You're just like, no, nah, not really interested. You know, um, I'm kind of bored with the situation. That can also be saying that with the Four of Cups energy. So you're trying to come to a decision, a truth about the situation because of things that you feel are moving kind of fast with the Knight of Swords energy or you're having a sense that you want to cut things away cut things out because you're trying to gain the answers that you need because there's a lot of things that are being offered to you that you just don't want here with the four of cups energy or the person that possibly may be checking you out may have a sense that they're missing an opportunity with you with the four of cups energy four is about stability and stableness so let's see what the influence is mm. there's this patient energy because of the fact that they're wanting an equal give and take here with the temperance card energy or someone's being patient for an equal give and take here with the temperance card energy okay so before we go whoa nice cards oh my god okay okay some very interesting stuff happening. Okay, so advice is wait it out. See all things play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Don't rush into anything. Just be patient and see how things are going to play out because you got to invest some time in this situation with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Okay. Whew, okay, so we got a heck of an outcome here. And seven's a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing. We have a heck of an outcome. All right, we got the Twin Flame Soulmate card going on here. Okay, so there's a sense... For some of you, I found my twin flame, I sell my soulmate connection. You're gonna have to make a choice with the heart. This is gonna shock you with the tower card energy. This is gonna come as a shock, a surprise. It's gonna come out of nowhere. It's gonna really surprise you. And tower card is basically, it's a sudden surprise, a sudden shock. Um, I feel that though you're going to possibly leave this person out in the cold or you're gonna have a sense of loss about it. Uh, wow, okay. Okay, so let's clarify that ending here. Okay, so um, this potential outcome here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Obviously, there's this twin flame soulmate connection or this choice that has to be made, and it was a bit shocking here. Okay, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's a mental energy going on here, trying to be logical about things, and because of a sense of regret or loss from the past, 
and there's a patient energy, what should I do pertaining to long-term basis because something needs to be an equal give and take six of pentacles energy and a choice needs to be made. So the issue is I feel like Yes, you feel like you you feel like this situation is like very shocking to you. It's a big surprise to you, and in the sense, you've decided to leave it out in the cold for the time being until you make this choice because it kind of took you by surprise. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. So obviously, before doing anything anyway, you have to wait to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. All right, really analyze things and put time into this with the Seven of Pentacles energy. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerisd.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. I will be releasing X returns in the next day or two. I was a little bit late getting this release out only because I, I was overwhelmed with personal reading, so I had to get, get those done. Um, so obviously it's only gonna be a day or two before I release this time. I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you soon. Enjoy the next uh, couple of weeks. I love you guys so much. And let me know what's going on in the comments below. This is the crazy stuff going on here. You know, I love to hear from you guys. Love you.